Got him, got him, got him. Got him. Oh! I love this time of year. The salmon have just started schooling up on the south coast. And so every year, usually, I mean, I live in Perth and Easter is about the time we usually start seeing them pop up in Perth. We're obviously a few weeks prior to Easter at the moment. So usually I jump in the car and head down there for a night or two nights to try and catch one off the beach, which is some of the best fun in my opinion. I'm um, chasing them off the beach, so that's what I'm doing. Um, I've just left, it's half past 11. So get down there, you know, mid afternoon. I'm gonna go to Dunsborough today, um, have a crack at Bunker Bay off the beach there. I've heard there's a few around there. And then we'll probably head towards Hamlin a little bit later, Hamlin Bay, stay the night at Hamlin Bay fish there in the morning, then probably fish Dunsborough again on the way back, and then head home tomorrow evening. So, we've hit the road, We're pretty keen for this. Haggard's this, just got to Dunsborough and the weather is unreal. Normally, if you're perched up here, like these guys are here, you can see a school swimming past. But I think we're going to head over to Bunker Bay because the boys got a few fish there this morning. Said there's a few schools going through, so might grab some food at the shops and uh, get over there. Flip flop slap. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to tie an old trusty thirty gram chrome twisty. Not many lures that will outperform this one when it comes to salmon fishing, that's for sure. And especially with this outfit that I've got. Oh, shit. Especially with this outfit I've got. You can cast these things an absolute mile. Not so important at a spot like this where the fish are going to probably be pretty close to shore. But when we go around to Bunker Bay, sometimes they can be sitting just outside your casting distance. So you really want to be able to cast your lure as far as possible and this is your best bet at that it's a loop knot they've just tied but can you get a little bit better performance out of these tying a loop knot let's cut that off all right we're away <laughs> oh, yeah, there's one. <laughs> Chill, 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 chill. Chill out, dude, please. Pooch. I don't know whose pooch that is, but he's not a person for kilometers, but there's a little white pooch. Oh, 
Oh. <laughs> oh, all right, what are these? Oh, is it? Where is it? Oh, 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 oh. Jesus, 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 Jesus. I'm in big trouble here. I could use some light gear. <laughs> But I love using that twisty because the whole way up I've been catching herring even when the salmon aren't there that 30 gram twisty whilst it's pretty big for herring it's not too big so caught half a dozen herring on the way up that's what I was after awesome fun off the beach now let's put him back that is that Awesome fun. That was an epic fight on the on the light gear. I love using this light gear on the beach because most of the time, you know, you just use the surf to get the fish in and you can take your time, but I happened to hook that fish right in between a couple of rocks and as you see, it was zigzagging and I had to keep ducking around the rocks and it was a bit hairy for a minute there because I only got 15 pound braid and a 20 pound leader. So if it touched one of those rocks, I would have been gone, but luckily it didn't and i managed to just get the fish up when that wave came through and washed it up i just had to run backwards and and drag it up so that was pretty good fun that's what we're here for it's only the first afternoon we got all day tomorrow as well so we're gonna have another quick little cast in here um and then we'll probably head back and have a beer and then we'll get up early and hit it tomorrow this is we're at bunker bay now but um we're gonna head to hamlin for the night and then fish hamlin bay in the morning so looking forward to it Well, we've just got up and our gas cooker's run out so we can't cook our pancakes. Not very happy about that. And the weather's not really what it was meant to be either. Sort of a bit grey, gusting winds, so we're just going to pack our stuff up and go have a bit of a look around. But it's not looking great at the moment. Everything might have just changed because Parco has just stumbled across a spare gas cylinder. We are on. That's on. Dude, video a good one. Wait until we get a really like <laughs> Video a good one. <laughs> like a really good circle. I reckon flip.
come down this dirt track and uh, you're going to walk up there you come over the sand dune and there's a really cool little beach down there that I caught some fish at last year so it's a little bit overcast it might make it a bit harder to spot the schools but at least here you can sit up on top on the sand dune and have a really good look out over the bay see if there's any fish there so we'll have a crack But yeah, we, we caught some stragglers in here when they came through, but the big school was up there. Look at this guy. He didn't like me very much. really good but it's like a 25 knot easterly that wasn't forecast which makes things a little bit difficult and it was really overcast a lot of dark clouds had come through and there was a bit of rain makes it really hard to spot fish um, we probably could have stayed there and, and just waited and eventually a few fish would have come through but it was a little bit uncomfortable so we have hopped back in the car we're on caves road now driving through the big trees we're gonna head back towards yelling up um, and basically work our way back, try and maybe get out of out from under the clouds, work our way back at a few different beaches, and see if we can find a fish. So we'll probably end up back at Dunsborough um, at Bunkers where we got the fish yesterday, because um, I have heard there's a few fish around there at the moment. So um, all, all a bit of fun, we're just gonna work our way back and see what happens. They're going back this way. Oh, got, got him, got him, got him. Got him. Oh! They were, they, were, they were cruising that way, so I just cast that way. That was a good last little session at bunkers we it was super windy so we we actually walked right up to the far end and tucked in behind the rocks bit of protection behind the rocks um, and a bit of clear water so and then we we're just sitting there watching waiting for some schools to come through and that pack of sort of 12 or 15 fish came through and hooked a couple and landed the one so a bit of fun that's what salmon fishing is all about I reckon a bit of fun and I uh, got a couple of fish so it's what half past 12 one o'clock so i reckon we might start making our way back to perth but pretty successful couple of days overall good to get a couple of fish <laughs> 